Hey guys, everyone, Tenkelbit here with another video, and today I am here with my second update on the Crown Princess. Um, it is currently Christmas Eve. It is one o'clock in the morning, December twenty fourth. Um, so I'm here with another video for you guys on Crown Princess because it has been a while. Um, I've been doing progress really slow, but I still plan to release the ship before 2016 ends. So it gives me 10 days, less than 10 days, to get the ship complete. So I'm going to show you guys what I have done, and then I'm probably going to end up doing a little bit more work. I might I might not even do another update video, this might be the last one, and then the full tour. Because I just I need to find a way in. Because I don't know, I just don't have time. Alright, so here we are. This is the piazza, which I have been working on. This is like the atrium. I don't have cabins in yet. But this is the atrium on the ship. Uh, it's called the Piazza on Princess. And then over here, this is the International Cafe, which is just a cafe with a bunch of different like pastries and stuff and coffees. And over here is the Michelangelo dining room, uh, which is one of three. Now, none of the dining rooms on this ship are two-story, which was kind of odd to me. Um, which was kind of odd to me because it's a pretty big ship, but there's three single-story dining rooms. And then over here is a wine bar, which is called Vines. And then Future Cruises and the Internet Cafe. There's no computers there. The windows are messed up there. All right. That's why I do these tours, because I also find airs, too, <laughs> which is helpful. So up on deck six is guest services and shore excursions. And this is um, a shop, one of Princess's signature shops. And then over here oops, is, on the opposite side, is another one of their shops. Uh, yeah, there's shops up on the next deck too, which is kind of weird. They have them on both decks, but not next to each other. That's what I would do. <laughs> uh, this is Gatsby's Casino, which is really small compared to other ships. It's pretty small. Um, there's just the back walls, or the side walls, they just line with slot machines, and then the middle is all tables. Um, so in here is the conference center. Um, hold on, let me, oh, I didn't mean to do that, oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, I'm tired, I haven't been up this late in a while, it's only one, but, oh. So, um, yeah, this is where the Princess Theater is going to go, um, eventually, when I get there. And then over here, this is what I just did. This is called, uh, just did it, and I already forgot the name. Oh, Explorer's Lounge. This is the Explore. this is the Explorer's Lounge, and it's, like, this is really odd. Like, this, you, this ship is a really odd ship. Um, this bar, like, rises up. But I didn't want to make it a full block because it would look weird, but there's supposed to be chairs lining this. And then over here is just like a promenade. And then you will find here the photo gallery. Uh, this is the photo gallery. These are usually like lining pictures that they take. And then in here is the extra charge um, steakhouse called the Crown Grill, which is uh, pretty well. Bigger than other restaurants I've seen on other ships. This one has its own bar too. But in here, I'll show this off. I don't show crew areas, but I'm gonna show this off. The, this is a galley that Colby Mike did for me. Um, and that's backwards. But this entire galley goes credits Colby Mike. Uh, so let's see. So in here. Um, I actually. Oh no, there's one more. But one more thing. It's called Club Fusion, which is another really awkward aft lounge. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever built a more awkward lounge. This is just a really odd. It's just odd. <laughs> I don't. It's not much really more to say about it. It's just odd in general. So, ah, I just yawned again. So that's the uh, end of what I have so far. Um, I doubt I will have anything up. I'm probably, I will not. Ignore the I doubt I'll have anything up. I don't actually know why I said that. But this ship will be up, I'm hoping, December 31st, New Year's Eve. I'm hoping we can. I'll have it up, you know, that early morning. 
so that you guys can explore it through the afternoon and then, you know, leave, because I know a lot of people actually do stuff on New Year's Eve. But that's when I plan to release it, so that gives me a little less than 10 days to complete. I still have a lot to do. Um, once I basically finish deck 7, I, pre I once I finish the main entertainment, like, deck 5, 6, and 7, and all I have left is this deck, which is 7, the cabins are super easy, I just stack everything up, and then the Lido deck, which is the quickest part of a ship, is from the Lido deck up, is basically like the quickest part. It's super simple, um, because, and I looked at the deck plans, like this ship, there should be no confusions, it's just pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this video, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, tell me what you guys think of this ship in the comments below, and I will talk to everyone in the next video.